zdašti. Thank you, thank you. This is the first iteration of Bold Makina. Uh, we are putting NATO soft divers uh, in, in the water against uh, evolving emerging technology uh, to evaluate um, our signature management, uh, but also to test and validate uh, the, the technology that is gonna be in place to, uh, that contributes to the protection of critical underseas infrastructure. So for maritime, special operation forces, it's important for us to be on this evolutionary journey with technology. Because as the te technology evolves, uh, our assumption is that it will proliferate, uh, it changing the, the virtual transparency of the water column. So whereas uh, in the past, we've always assumed that uh, our last co 
piece, our, our last location of cover and concealment could be that water column. Uh, in the future, uh, we want to be able to ar uh, clearly articulate the risk uh, to, to, to conducting a mission uh, where the sea is filled with sensors and robots uh, that will be able to uh, identify and classify us. Uh, conversely, we also want to uh, help improve and validate the technology that, that, that is going to be employed uh, to improve our maritime domain awareness from the seafloor to space, uh, while at the same time uh, protecting the critical underseas infrastructure that our nations rely on. I, I think the nations that are participating, uh, they, they get a, a, a keener understanding of, of how technology is, uh, is, is emerging and, and, and it'll change uh, uh, our operating environment. So the, the, the tangible benefit that they get is, is uh, through, through NATO, we're able to organize this event, bring industry together, bring the technical expertise that uh, the, the NATO Center for Maritime Research and Experimentation um, uh, that, that is inherent to that organization, the science, scientists and engineers, uh, we can bring them all together in a single space uh, and, and, and do collaborative design uh, of an experiment and, and be able to analyze the re results and then deliver those back to the Mar uh, NATO Maritime Special Operations Forces. In regards, in regards to conflict, uh, it's, uh, some of it is what's going on uh, inside the Ukrainian uh, you know, theater of conflict. Uh, but also, uh, it, just as important uh, is, is what's going on outside of it. And, 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 and uh, related to the, uh, the Russian invasion of Ukraine, uh, you had a, we had a, uh, the Baltic connector um, and the Nord Stream pipeline, the Baltic connector uh, uh, pipeline that were, um, one was blown up and one was uh, destroyed by, by an anchor. Uh, it, and it exposed vulnerabilities that, that our nations have, uh, um, especially the ones that, that, that rely on global and uh, global trade over the sea. Um, so that, that political relevance to that problem set uh, has, has directed attention uh, to the NATO organization uh, and, and, and our nations uh, to, to develop a response and to develop a, an understanding of, of that response. And, and, that's, and that's the role this off is, uh, is helping to play, is to help validate and improve that technology that's going to that's going to support finding those answers. The orientation um, underwater is a really complicated process. Um, and uh, you have to be a very disciplined soldier and um, mentally stable. Great. It's not for everyone. Uh, all the um, small compartments in the submarine, for example, or uh, ship platforms, it's not for everybody. Uh, that's some of the things that make us unique. Um, we can be on the ships, we can be on the submarines, on the planes, helicopters, of course, in the land forest. So we gotta be good in all these areas, especially water. Well, uh, being in the water is, um, you really gotta be concentrated, think about the job and nothing uh, uh, else. Uh, you are uh, thinking about the guy with you, your buddy, your partner, which is a critical part. You always, you always rely on each other. So it's really important to know the person, to know the gear, to know the job, the task, and uh, all the risks that uh, with the diving. On the seafloor, there are uh, little kilometers of, of pipes and, uh, and and tubes that uh, you know are uh, are uh, exposed to. To any kind of threat, and the, 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 I mean, I, I don't think is we need to remind you now the samples in the, the recent samples in the Baltic you now raise, raise an immediate issue. But um, we realize that the, the, that's an issue. How important they are, and how fragile, how exposed to 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 any kind of possible threat. I mean, the underwater domain is is hard to uh, is hard both to 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 protect and hard to to attack. But there are technologies to operate, of course, and so. Uh, and it's not easy to protect because there are because it's a complex environment, it's a vast environment.